Keep your voice down. You wouldn't want to start me right now. Who are you? Isaac Newton. Want to test the law of gravity? Oh, oh my god, you're Fisher. Thank god you can get me out of here. Why would I want to do that? I'm not one of them. They brainwashed me, I swear it. Whatever. I'll make you a deal. Help me find Emil, and I don't airmail you. He's over on the next roof with the bomb. If you hurry, you can stop him. You see? I I've been cooperative. You're gonna let me go, right? I just never seen snow before. Ever? I grew up in Florida. Not a lot of snow there. Ah, I'm from Colorado. We get serious snow out there. This, this is nothing. You hear the news? I know. L.A. just went down. So did Nashville. My fellow Americans, you are screwed. Even if they stop us from... They're not gonna stop us. Hurry. Come on.
Do not move unless I tell you to do so. The next one kills. I want you to very slowly toss your pistol aside. Good. Now tell me, what have you done with the rest of my men? Go check. I'll wait here. Have you killed them then? Men who worked with you? Who trusted you? Spare me the disappointed father lecture, Emil. From the beginning, you were nothing more than targets. And what does that make you? A soldier? A pawn? It doesn't matter. Goodbye, Mr. Fisher. Whoa! Fisher! Fisher. Even found it in yourself to love one of us. Now why would that be? She is not one of you. You seem so very sure of that. Is it because you simply don't want it to be true? That's not the way the world works. And consider your friend, Mr. Washington, who spoke so passionately on your behalf when you came to us. How many hours did you spend trying to convince yourself he was the enemy? Is he really? Or are you one of us after all? Shut up. Who is Sam Fisher? Can you answer that one for me? That's enough out of you. Poor Fisher. You can kill me, you know, but you can't silence me. Not now. Not anymore. Thinking of another question? You'd better hurry. Hesitating? Unsure of what to do next? Surely you have the answers. Inside now. No. We did good, Sam, didn't we? In the end. Of course, Enrica. Oh, Sam, I'm so sorry. the one to collect. We'll find you, Fisher. You can't hide from us. Watch me. I will. We interrupt this programming to bring you a breaking news story. We are receiving reports of massive devastation in Los Angeles, where some sort of explosive device was detonated just moments ago. The destruction is centered on the city's busy port, but the damage extends for miles in all directions. Early speculation indicates that the blast may have been nuclear in nature. 
and authorities are estimating a death toll in the hundreds of thousands. We thought it was an earthquake, said one witness, but then we looked out toward the water and saw the cloud. I wish it was an earthquake. We will continue to bring you all the breaking news on this tragic series of events. This just in, we have word of a massive explosion in Nashville where the president was speaking earlier today. It is believed that the president and those in attendance were killed in the blast. Authorities are responding to fires which continue to blaze out of control throughout the city and are trying to extend emergency aid to the thousands of wounded survivors. Vice President Lee Wendell, when informed, vowed to find those responsible and bring them to justice. We interrupt this programming to bring you a breaking news story. The United States narrowly averted catastrophe today as a three-pronged terrorist assault was foiled. Authorities were able to derail attempts to detonate atomic devices in Nashville, Los Angeles, and Manhattan. The identities of the terrorists are still unknown as no group has stepped forward to claim responsibility for the acts. FBI spokesman Herbert Mangles said today, Several devices, which we believe to be nuclear in nature, were recovered before they could be detonated. We are investigating how they were brought into the country and are following every angle. The president praised the preparedness and swiftness of action of the FBI and local authorities, noting that they had saved not only his life, but the lives of millions of Americans.